It's 99 Jams. Miami's number one for hip hop and R&B. The afternoon get down in the building with the tough guy DJ and Tice. Your girl Super Cindy and live in the studio. Yeah. We have. Tell him. Plies. Hey, Super. <laughs> we gonna say this before I can get started. You know I'm okay. officially in love right now. <laughs> With I mean, who? I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm gonna just leave it there. I'm gonna leave oh, it there. Man. She I'm is my rock, 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 rock. <laughs> I appreciate it being here, man. We're so happy to have you here. We got a lot to talk about this Let's morning. Do it. Let's do it. Yes, we do. So, I mean, this morning. I'm so used to morning. Show. This afternoon. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> she does. She does. Okay. So, let's get the goings going on. So, happy election day. Thank you. Yes. So, um, did you vote? Yes, I did. And how did you vote? Like, did you go in the poll? Did you mail it? Yeah, I know. I, I actually, I've been on the road for the last couple of days, so mm-hmm. I made sure I took care of what I needed to before I jumped on the road. Um, was excited today. I think I've been excited. I haven't been this excited in a minute. Um, for me, man, I think growing up in Fort Myers, I ain't really understand the value of politics. Exactly. I think I'm probably like most of us that grew up in the hood. We were on, worried about more of right now survival. Mm-hmm. Um, so as I... I guess got a little bit more seasoned and a little bit more matured. I understood that having money just wasn't the answer. You mm. know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. You can have a little paper. You can have a few pennies in your pocket. But until you get out there and um, make that cast that political vote, you're going to be li- living by somebody else's rules. So yep. mm. for me, I had to understand that. And I love the fact that, like you just said, you're from Fort Myers, yep. which is Florida. We yep, have yep, a, yep, yep, yep. a <laughs> governor's running. You better believe it. Um, have you met Andrew Gillum? Nah, I haven't met him. Um Probably like three weeks ago, I was in New York, mm-hmm. and they were trying to coordinate us getting on the phone, but I was actually in the middle of traveling, traveling at that time, so mm-hmm. I wasn't able to talk to him, but huge fan of what it is that he do. Um, yeah, he's super cool. Being a fam you alum hey. um, on his <laughs> end. You know, it's something that I that I felt like it was a it was a great statement. I think you, anytime you got people trying to use a Yale guy um, against a historical black university mm-hmm. alum, I think it says a lot. Um just because you went to Yale doesn't yeah. automatically doesn't qualify you and certify mm-hmm. you. Um, right. It's a lot of bad people that go to Yale, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. So for me, um, I just I, I like the, the David and, and, and Goliath thing. Like, mm-hmm. I, I think um, being in Florida, man, and like I said, um, being here all my life and being from Fort Myers, I was just telling somebody yesterday, I didn't really understand back in the days what growing up in a red state really meant. Mm-hmm. It was just natural to me. Like, I, I, I learned how to adapt. Um, in those situations, but to see the president in my hometown probably three times in three months, hmm. it spoke volumes in about the community that I grew up in. Mm-hmm. I, and I love the fact that you're involved, like you're aware yeah. of what's going on, because a lot of um, rappers are right. just like in music world and right. don't really understand we, 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 the we were, world. We were, world. We were about them watches and stuff. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. but, no, it's cool. You know, I, I mean, like I said, I always tell people I don't like to try to push my beliefs off on nobody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when it when it worked for you, make it work for you. So, right. like I said, for me, I just had an opportunity to start following politics. I started watching it, tried to get myself like 10, 15 minutes a day, mm-hmm. and then it turned into hours and hours. Yeah, because you realize all the stuff going on yeah. that you had no clues going on that affects you because we think yeah. it doesn't affect us, yep. mm-hmm. but it may indirectly or directly affect us. I absolutely agree. So let's move to the music. Yeah. Let's do um, it. When you came out with Rock, uh-huh. I was on the radio when I heard it for the first time and I was like, yo, high five to Plies. Finally, you, a song. Like showing love to the ladies because we get it. slapped around and dissed all day long. But you know, Plaza, you always do records for the ladies. <laughs> yeah, but I kind of got off my pivot a little bit. <laughs> um, not not intentionally, but um, for me, I think my last two records has been conscious efforts on my part to do something a little different. Not just make a female-driven record, but make a female-driven record that highlights a certain type of woman in mm-hmm. my opinion mm-hmm. um the new record that i got now all, all the above, of the above right, with kevin gates featuring kevin gates that was a special record to me because it, it, it was you know you got women such as one to the right of me that's beautiful and <laughs> you know attractive <laughs> and gorgeous but it's more to <laughs> women than that than that you know and I, I wanted to make a song that was about um not only are you beautiful and attractive and sexy but intelligent um, being able to hold your own, um, being a boss in your own regards. I just felt like it was about showing women and highlighting women um, who was able to bring, and, and ones that do bring a lot to the table. So that's what all of the above was about. 
well, my whole thing is like when I saw the video, I saw Kevin Gates' teeth. Like I never see him <laughs> wow, laughing. That's no, funny. like I never see him <laughs> laughing. I never see. I'm like, how Plies got him to laugh in this yeah. video, and his wife is <laughs> in it, right? Yeah. So like. What is your relationship? How did you link up with Kevin for this song? Well, good, we were good friends, good partners before he, um, you know, had to step away for a little bit. Yeah. Um, when he came home this time, <clears throat> this record, I had it when he was actually locked up, but mm. I didn't want to put it out till he actually came home because I didn't want nobody doing the hook but Oh, that's dope. And he knew that's that dope. then. Yeah. So oh, when he dope. came home, I flew out to L.A. with him. Um, I think I kind of know a side of KG that's a little different than what we see um, yeah. when we see KG. We have his perception. Yeah, so for him, he's probably at the top of my list of people that I root for to win big. Oh. Um, I feel like he's a genuine person, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I know he's fighting his demons. Um, like I told him last night, we was talking after I got through working in Jacksonville, and like I told him, you know, the people that you love the most, man, whether it's your wife, whether it's your kids, like, you owe it to them. Just stay out here. Right. You know what I mean? So for me, I think that's what makes this record so special to me outside of the subject matter. Mm -hmm. But just having a genuine relationship with the artist that I'm actually working with on this particular record. Uh, That was one of my questions for you. Like, uh, besides Kevin Gates, Mm -hmm. which you obviously obviously just answered right now, any other artists that you're actually cool with in the industry? Because we have this perception everybody's friends or everybody has beef. Who do you actually really friends with? For me? Mm Mm-hmm. I kind of just mind my own business. I was going to say, you seem like a loner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know what? I think when my brother went to prison the first time, Mm -hmm. I kind of learned how to navigate a move by myself. Mm -hmm. And I kind of enjoy it that way. Mm -hmm. Um, But in this industry, I've learned sometimes just being standoffish can send the wrong signal to to a lot of people. So for me, um, I got people like, Kodak is another one that I, I feel like I look at him in a mm-hmm. total different light that I look in a, at a lot of artists. Mm-hmm. He's somebody that I root for, root for from afar. Mm-hmm. My first time ever saying this, probably ever even saying his name on radio, the name I'm about to say right Exclusive. now. Exclusive. <laughs> but um, for a period of time, me and Trick ain't really talked. Mesh. Right. Was it the slip and slide thing that, that we just kind never of? We just never talked. Okay. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so it was probably things on his end. Um that he probably felt a certain way about. It was things on my end I never felt a certain way about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, during the BET Awards, I think it was last year, not this With year. honoring Luke. Yeah. And, and for us to be backstage and kind of ran into each other and um, just had a cordial conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, at least break me, the was, ice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And right. like I feel like for me that was big for me because I never had, I never felt any kind of way. Yeah, but, but it was just... I'm just a person that I'm always doing my own thing, and I know mm-hmm. that can send the wrong message to people. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, besides that, you know, I kind of mind my own business. I there wanted to ask you, like, bouncing off the, what you just said mm-hmm. right now, like, I've always heard throughout the years regarding right. you that you don't like to go to video shoots. You're always late to this. You don't like to go to performances. Like, if you have a collaboration uh-huh. with someone to get you to do the videos, like, hell, and this and that. Like, no. why is that? Is that true? You're nah, saying no. So for, for, for why, me, why is that a rumor going around or whatever? Um, I'm good to start a rumor with because... Mm-hmm. You stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so anything for me, right? Um, but no, like for me, you know, whether it's been Khaled, whether it's been other artists that I work with, mm-hmm. it don't matter. Like I come to you, I do whatever it is that I do. It's just for me. I'm not trying to go party with fifty broads with you and. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hang out, and they be wanting that sometimes. Just to do the record, right? Yeah, <laughs> like I want to do the Let's do the record. Right. Let's yeah, go to the yeah, studio yeah, first. Like, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's do the work, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I and I've, I've always been that way since I first came in the industry. So for me, I think that's just been the you know preconceived notion about me is that I never fell in love with the friendly part of the industry. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because sometimes not it's saying not that always I real, though. Yeah, not saying that I don't <laughs> enjoy it, mm-hmm. right? But um, for me, it, it haven't been a situation on my end. Now, it could have been rumors out there, but it has never been a situation. If, if, if I work with you, I want to do the video anyway. Yeah, right. you know, you know it's I mean? part of the yeah, whole it's just, thing. It's, it's part of the whole situation. So right. for me, it's been times that, you know, schedules didn't match up. But besides that, nah, nah, man. 
Let's talk about your car posts on social media. What my car like, po- Oh, yeah. okay, okay. When okay, you jump okay, in your okay. car, you all not like what days do you say I'm gonna post this or I'm not like what makes you post what it's, you post and they go viral and get reposted like a billion times even months after you did but it. Super, it was it was it's like the day like I just was in a natural good mood mm-hmm. just because of the whole election situation. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I've been having a little anxiety cuz I asked myself a couple of days ago, like, what if this don't go mm. the right way? Scary, right? You know what right. I mean? mm-hmm. And um, but about the post, um, I told somebody last night. One thing I try not to do is not post when I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but those are the best. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, so I try not to do that. But mm-hmm. it's just random with me. Um, if you talk to my mama, she gonna tell you, boy, you should shut up a little bit more. But <laughs> for me, man, I just. I try to keep it organic, and I think that's what people appreciate about it. And speaking of your post, though, you had um, Drake sampled one of your posts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I how did, did that? How was that like? Um, did he hit you up and say he was going to do it, or you just heard it? Actually, they camp reached out to my camp, okay, um, and told us about the situation. Um, and like I said, I told somebody this a couple of days ago. Like, I think it speaks volumes of who Drake is as an artist. Mm-hmm. Um, to be the biggest in the game and still be paying attention to what's going on around him and you know underneath him right. i think it speaks volumes of him right um so i felt like the record that he put that video ig piece on mm-hmm. the audio i think it went perfect with that so mm-hmm. double salute to the big homie yeah that's dope so social media has its good and it's bad and you're very what's the big bad? On what's the no, bad? I'm, I'm gonna bring it up right now that's what I did. <laughs> okay so recently in september uh-huh. you had a situation at the airport right. Did you forget or like like when you hear these stories on TV that you know such and such got right. found on a, with a gun in a bag and right. they're like what the it's so stupid like you know, was that me, a mistake or like how did something like that happen I'm gonna tell you an inside thing about me okay um, Tyson like I don't mind making mistakes mm-hmm. but I don't like making mistakes that will make me appear to look stupid mm-hmm. or be stupid. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, right. I'm fine with making mistakes, but <laughs> we all make mistakes. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't like to make the mistakes. Um, somebody told me a long time ago, don't give people the bullets to shoot you with. Mm. So for me, um, with that particular situation, um, it seemed like every time that I travel, mm-hmm. I'm always worried about my bag going through the scanner mm-hmm. mm. by me knowing that I'm a gun owner. Yes. I always, I always worry about my bag when it goes through the right. scanner. And so. you have a concealed weapons license. Yeah, Let's clear that yeah, up. Cause yeah. they were saying you weren't carrying it at the oh, airport. No, nah, no, nah, nah, Yeah. Okay. So for me that particular day, mm-hmm. just rushing. Right. Um, Grab the wrong bag. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Just, you know, I was, I had just actually came off vacation, just rushing through the airport. You all relaxed my, coming from vacation. No, nah, like, but look, when my, bag, when my bag, I went through first, and uh-huh. I was waiting on my bag to come through. So it didn't come through. <laughs> and so I was looking, and it was a young lady that worked there that knew me. Mm-hmm. And she turned around, and I read her lips. And she said, you left your gun in the bag. And oh, your knees man. buckled. Oh, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't know what to feel. Because that was just, that was the, no, first, yeah, that was the first time the? that I was ever in that situation. So... Mm. What was crazy about it, TSA told me like 15 minutes before I came through, mm-hmm. somebody had just had the same problem. Wow. But what happened was, according to them, they let him take it back to their vehicle. So he said that he couldn't tell, he couldn't guarantee me what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. It just depends on the arresting officer that came over. Right. Mm-hmm. So when he came over, you know, the guy was respectful. Um, but I ain't have no luck that day. Mm-hmm. Um, they so. said, I read in the story that because you didn't have your concealed weapons license on you, that mm-hmm. that's why they were like... They well, didn't really... actually, what happened was, mm-hmm. and I haven't told nobody this yet, but last Tuesday, mm-hmm. um, because I actually showed them uh, my license or whatever yeah. the case may be, they decided not to even file it, so it, hey. it worked out. That's good. Congratulations. Hey, no, 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 that's... <laughs> Oh, that's just that part. That's just <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well. That's that's just God. That ain't yeah. have nothing to do oh, with me. Oh, so. okay, okay, okay. And, but, and, so it's so yeah, the case is yeah, it's dropped. officially never happened. Well, the reason why I brought up social media part was the mugshot <laughs> part. Goes. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. So the okay, mugshot okay, part. Okay. okay, so now you're in the police station or wherever you are, uh-huh. about to take a mugshot. I know how girls think when it comes to mugshots. How do y'all think? Like, <laughs> well, like okay, should I smile? Should I make sure my eyes are open? Babe, I, ain't, I, I ain't never been happy about going to jail. No, right. so what I'm saying Ever. is as far as the mugshot goes, where you're thinking, like, okay, should I smile? Because you look pissed in that mugshot. You're like, you damn it, what? man. Now, I'm going to tell you, 
I think the biggest thing about that, the biggest thing about that in those situations for me, mm-hmm. anytime I'm in the wrong or I allow myself to be in the wrong, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to be as cooperative as possible. Like, yeah. right? So that situation was, I'm never trying to allow people to... You weren't going to smile and make them think you don't care no, and no, all no, that? No, 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 no. Just to get to that point. Uh-huh. You know, I was just trying to be respectful to the officers and TSA okay. and all those mm-hmm. people. But by me going through that system and that process before, mm. all I'm saying was, boy, this is going to be eight hours. Yeah. Like, oh. I already knew that. Like, I already <laughs> right. knew that before it even right. happened. Mm. And then, you know, going through that process, you know, how well, how Tampa is, it's an open bay. So mm. when you walk into processing, mm-hmm. it's you and just 400 people or whoever oh, just so everybody got like, So the, the whole, <laughs> that whole day, I'm dealing with, you know, People that's fans, I'm looking at people who's crying because they bond got revoked. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just a lot going on for me. Yeah. And I was just having one of those moments that I always believed nothing happened by accident. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was just trying to figure out how to soak all this up and really understand it's why purpose. this happened. It's purpose, yeah. Yeah, understand its purpose. So for me, I just turned my seven, eight hours um, being locked up to really underst- understand not how blessed that I am, mm-hmm. but to really understand how the system really works, how everything is a slow process, mm-hmm. um, just to see people get treated the way they was getting treated, just to be there when it was time mm-hmm. to eat lunch and to see what it is that they actually give you and, and, and prepare you. Right. Um, it was just a humbling experience for me. Mm-hmm. Mm. So let's talk tour dates. Let's do it. You on tour now. I've never left tour. <laughs> right. Yeah, like for me, I'm, I think my situation been a... Um, Always a unique situation, Tyson. Like, I think for the last nine, ten years, like, right. I probably had four weekends wow. Wow. that I didn't have to work. That's crazy. And what do you do on those weekends? Get acclimated to what to do on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I have no clue. Like, it was probably uh, a year ago, and I was home on a Saturday. I was like, bro, what do people even do? <laughs> on Saturday. So. Well, speaking of Saturday, what about Sweet Pea Saturdays? Hey, you got to say the whole thing. Let's I mean, just, you I know, I, we can say Sweet Pussy Saturday. <laughs> Sweet Pussy Saturday. Hey, man, that was um, that was something happened by accident. Um, right. Actually, I remember the first time I made that post, I was actually in the same city I left from last night. I was in Jacksonville. Mm. And I was just recovering from the night before. I, just, <laughs> I, I, I did the post, and it was something that... Uh, went viral, man, and was something that people bugged me about all the time. So that was something that just organically happened and it's something that worked for me. Right. So does your single with Kevin Gates have a challenge? Because all your songs have a challenge on social media. So <laughs> I know when you create the songs, the whole marketing thing starts floating in your brain about how you're going to do it on social media, whatever. What does that song have? You know, for um for me, I've mm-hmm. never coordinated any of the things that... The challenges just happen? They just naturally happen. You yeah. blessed like that because all the other artists are like, okay, I'm going to do this challenge. I'm going to nah. make people dance. And I always say that. You can't make challenges happen that way. Mm-hmm. Right. And even if they do, it's not organic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So for me, with mine, I just... I found pieces and online or whatever and they just became whatever they became. So I haven't had that moment yet with this record mm-hmm. and I feel like only because I did it differently. Like mm-hmm. this, this situation here, we actually took it to Atlantic and I wanted them to front end the situation mm-hmm. before. You just I do just it on your own. <laughs> renegade it, you know what I mean, and, and, and do it my own way and put it through my own system. But this time we went to the label, uh, went up to New York first, took the meeting with them. Um, it was something that they was excited about, especially being two Atlantic artists. Mm-hmm. Um, so we just rolling it out the, I like to call it the corporate way. Okay. Yeah. Being being within strategic, the lines. Strategic. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of benefits come with Cannon being on the road with you. Hey, so, Cannon. Yeah. <laughs> what, how often do you go to the studio? Like, do you go every day? I live day? in the studio. Oh, yeah, so, and how is the creative exactly. process? Do you, like, listen to other music? Do you, like, how do you, how do your songs come about? I have to go sometime just to, um, just to vent. Sometimes mm. I make music just for me to listen to it. Mm-hmm. Um, for therapy, I, yeah, inner, inner health. <laughs> yeah, and I try to do that, especially when I'm in heated situations and heated moments. Um, mm-hmm. I always tell people that sometimes I might just get in my car or go in the garage and just yell. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, for me, I always learned that um, a lot of times, man, you have to look at situations and pull yourself outside of them mm-hmm. before you make rush decisions. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, I just try to 
challenge myself a little bit more. Um, and I said this the other day to somebody. Um, remember those bracelets they used to have that used to say, uh, what was it? What would Jesus do? Yeah. Right. And I don't really, I kind of put my own twist on it. This might sound a little mm-hmm. to the left, but I always ask myself, like, when I get in certain moments, like, mm-hmm. like what would white people do? <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of Are you how making I bracelets make. like that? No, nah, I, I ain't got none of them. None of them we need yet. to. We probably need to. But and t-shirts? No, no. Always, always ask myself that because mm-hmm. whether it's an altercation, whether it's, you know, because I feel like at the end of the day, um, it ain't no street cats who wrote these laws. Mm-hmm. So my initial reaction ain't going to be the right reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just try to put myself in a situation and kind of ask what would the majority do? Mm-hmm. Because if I make that decision, I'm probably going to be cool. They're probably going to be cool with the decision that I made. Mm-hmm. So, And do you change your voice like when you're talking to authority? Who, me? Nah, yeah. not really. Um, <laughs> I don't ask a lot of questions, though. Well, you say quiet yeah. and respond yeah. when right. you're, you're Just asked yes, something. Yes, sir, no, sir. You know what? Get out I the used situation. to do that a lot, Tice. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, no, sir. And I started, um, I remember I watched First 48 one time, and I said, man, you got cats in here that's just disobedient, but they yes, sir, and no, sir, right. to people who don't look like them. Mm. And for me, it made me say, Mm-mm. I'm not doing that no more. So what do you do? What do you just um, say, no? Yeah, just yes. no. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. And I feel like for myself, you got people that are, are say yes, sir, to no, sir, to authority, mm-hmm. and they won't even do it with their own parents. Mm. So, so so you sure as heck ain't gonna do nah, it with them. Right. Nah, nah. I like I'm that. Be respectful though. Yeah. But not the yes sir, no sir. Mm-hmm. So final questions. What next for Plies? Like as far as the single with Kevin Gates, we work in that. Mm. 2019's around the corner. I just wanna I I think with the with the, the current vibe going right now, this is probably not a, a popular response, but mm-hmm. I just feel like, man, I think it's something that I can do. Um, I ain't figured it out yet, but I think it's something that I can do to bridge the gap. Like, I'm more caught up right now into really understanding what's going on around me. Mm-hmm. Um, the divide is real yeah. Um, yeah. from a culture standpoint. yeah. Um, and I just feel like through music, it's something that I want to challenge myself to see if I could bridge the gap and let people know that the people on the left— which is people who look like me, mm-hmm. we don't want to take nothing from y'all. Like, right. We're mm-hmm. not trying to invade you. We ain't trying right. to. And that comes from not only that people that look like myself, but minorities as well. And look at and understand the people on the right and see how they look at things and kind of understand it from both sides. Like, mm-hmm. they don't have to be bad people neither. Mm-hmm. We don't have to be bad people because I know for the most part we're not. Um, but trying to figure out something that I can use my platform to figure out, to let them know um, we okay, man. Like, yeah, we, someone we, has your back. Like, yeah, we're right, trying yeah, to work yeah, on that. Yeah, I love y'all just as much as y'all love us. Y'all give us a chance, we give y'all a chance. So there you um, go. I just got to figure out how to put it all together. But when I'm on the road, I I have a clear mind. I'm able mm-hmm. to think of that kind of stuff. So that's something I'm just challenging myself with. I'm giving myself 60 days to see if I can do it. I okay. love that. And okay, it's so November, 60 days we checking December. in with you. All right. cool. 60 days cool, we checking cool, in. Cool, cool, and 2019, cool. we going hard. Pause. <laughs> Let's, do it. Let's, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Live in the studio, afternoon get down. We've been sitting here talking to Plies. Plies, let everybody know where they can follow your movements. I know everybody already follows you, but um, let I don't them know. know, man. I'm pretty simple, I guess. <laughs> Everything is at Plies, whether it's Twitter, whether it's IG. I ain't got no snap yet. Mm-hmm. I was telling somebody. No disrespect, Tyson. You got one. I don't know. I just always felt like. <laughs> why, why, no, why me, though? No, because look, I'm going to tell you, because I, I always felt like, I was like, man, Snap. I just felt like probably this app was like for women. Because like, of right. the filters. Yeah, the filters yeah, and yeah, all that. Yeah. So yeah. for me, I just never got into it. Now, see, I got one, but for me, it's for the women to send stuff. Okay. All right, you get cool. Me? Yeah. yeah, and I heard that's what it was. Uh, I heard it was originally started for that purpose. Right. Purpose. Somebody right. told me that. Yeah, they said Yeah, I see all the guys looking at snaps like, whoa. whoa. I'm like, what the? I'm here using filters. And yeah. they're like, Super, you ain't something nothing crossed that, did you? <laughs> well, well, okay. You ain't said nothing, right? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't even know what to do. Hey, look, that's what they told me it was. filters. Okay, okay. And I move on. And I was. What's name? My, somebody had me on the snap. Canada, somebody had me on the snap the other day. 
And I didn't know what it was. And then I seen they had a, a nose ring. I said, man, come on. How you put a nose <laughs> ring on <laughs> That's the filter. The yeah, they put you the one with the little bunny ears yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and every time I kept moving, it kept going. <laughs> yeah, so. so we want to thank Plaz for stopping by. I want to thank by. y'all for having me. I appreciate it. I swear I do. Support his single, Kevin yes. Gates. All of the above. All, all of the above. above. All of the above. Ladies, it's a song for you <laughs> to feel positive and loved. We love it. Plies, thanks for stopping I love through. It. Appreciate it.